so I was just hacked and I figured I would share this video for two reasons one to raise awareness so that you could hopefully avoid the issue that I'm currently going through and two uh, maybe somebody's out there that would be able to lend a hand and help me fix and resolve this issue so the full story is that uh, about maybe a month ago I received a message on Instagram saying hey I work for I'm the manager of uh, famous singer Tony Terry uh, so I looked up Tony Terry in this after seeing this message and I was like who is this guy turns out he was really popular in like the, the 80s and stuff I was like okay very interesting the message said I'm the manager of Tony Terry uh, we Tony Terry is starting a podcast sponsored by Nike and we would love to have you on the channel for an interview I was like that sounds pretty cool. I was like, how did they find my stuff? And like, I mean, I do a lot of stuff with interviews. I do a lot of stuff, music related content. Very cool. I'm honored. I was like, well, a little sketched out to be honest, but I figured, you know what? Let me, let me, when I say sketched out, I'm like, I see so many fake messages in my DM, like just spam. I'm just not, I, I'm not really sure what's real and what's not. Usually that you could spot the fakes pretty easily because like, they're like, Hey, we'll get you a thousand followers in 27 seconds. Okay, so I'm like always still a little wary, but whatever. So I'm like, this is interesting. Let me at least hear out the conversation. So I say, okay, that's, that sounds really interesting. What is it? How does what does it look like? How do I get involved? What is what what are the steps? They said, well, there'll be uh, ten interviews for ten days, or essentially conversations, podcast conversations for ten days, uh, one episode a day. There'll be a couple people involved. Again, sponsored by Nike, so we're able to offer you two thousand dollars per episode. <laughs> okay. So I'm like, hmm, that seems like a lot of money. That's a little fishy. But then again, it's sponsored by Nike. Tony Terry was a big name, you know, a couple of years ago. So that being said, it very well could be the real thing. I know that big companies, especially these Fortune 500 companies, are not the best in, in how they necessarily handle their finances in the sense of like $2,000 for an artist to do a podcast that probably won't do too well. Um, not because of the who, who the artist is, but just because any podcast that kind of starts off right off the bat doesn't necessarily do too well it's a lot of money to spend on a podcast but then again for a company like nike i could see them wasting money like that not again because of who tony terry is actually it's, it's a shame that they're using his name it's actually really sad but because of just the sense of like you know starting a podcast is very hard and like whatever point being so i'm like okay it seems like a lot of money but again nike could be involved so I'm like, okay, let's continue to see what the conversation holds. Just being wary. Again, I don't necessarily believe... <laughs> I've been in the music industry long enough where I know that uh, it ain't real until you've done the gig. <laughs> until after the gig is over, it, it, the gig's not happened, essentially, because I've been burned so many different times. Being like, hey, we want to hire you for this gig. Hey, we want you to play this, and just nothing ever comes of it. So I'm like, it's not real until I've already done it. <laughs> so that being said, um, I'm like, okay, whatever. Like, Still kind of with my guard up. I was, they were like, do you know how to... Uh, uh, joined events on Facebook and I was like I really don't know anything about Facebook I, I'm more of a YouTube guy they're like well you can essentially live stream join somebody's live stream on Facebook I'm like okay I know that YouTube just implemented that that seems pretty legit they like I was like but I don't know how to do it uh, if you uh, like they were like okay let's hop on a zoom call and I, we can walk you through it so I'm like hmm, okay I mean the guy's willing to get on a zoom call with me then I get on the zoom call uh, and this is where it, again started to get a little fishy. And I should just listen to that little voice, but like I was like still kind of trying to be very cautious. And the guy had a pretty thick, heavy accent, and it didn't necessarily match his profile picture. And I was like, hmm. I was like, where are you based at? And and he didn't put turn on his video. That was a little sketchy too. I was like, oh, okay, you know, hmm, this is weird. But again, nothing was really like, like there was nothing involved. It wasn't like, hey, send me your social security number so we can write you a tax document. That's pretty obvious, right? So I was like, okay, whatever. So I started probing some questions. Oh, where are you from? Then they go like, oh yeah, we're from we're from uh, San Francisco. So, you know, I'm like, oh, interesting, very cool. And then they continue the conversation. So it's like, yeah, once you move here, you kind of never move away. It's one of those cities that like, it just kind of grips you. I'm like, okay, well, that seems legit. It's like a pretty legit response. If it's a scammer, they wouldn't, they would kind of like avoid these questions, but okay, that's interesting, interesting. Um, so he, he walks me through how to essentially join like by, by clicking this link they like okay click this link and what this way you'll know when you uh when when the, the concert go or the, the invite goes live you'll be able to join the live stream 
Well, little did I know that that link essentially handed them over access to my Facebook page. Not my personal Facebook page, because I don't really have a personal Facebook page. My Jacob Restituto Verified uh, business Facebook page. <laughs> And now they have control over my Facebook, which to be honest, I wasn't that concerned about. It's like, okay, that really stinks, but it's not the end of the world. I really don't use it too much. I've been trying to use it more because I know that Facebook Reels have been doing really well, but it's not the end of the world. I, at least it was my YouTube. But the problem that I'm having now is they have access to my ad account on Facebook, which they're not charging me for ads. They are uploading their own payment system. However, they are running ads as Jacob Restituto. So let me show you this really quick. Let's look at the notifications on Jacob Restituto. So here is a screenshot of what this looks like. What my, 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 I guess notifications on Instagram. This is on Instagram because Meta owns Facebook, which owns Instagram with all like, all, so it's all connected. So they're running Instagram ads and Facebook ads under Jacob Restituto. This is what these are all ads as Jacob Restituto like and it's like come on so the problem that I'm having is that they're using my name Jacob Restituto to run advertisements for fake things and it's just like it's so screwed up and I'm so frustrated it's not the end of the world I was actually I actually felt bad for the people because I'm like man if they are so desperate to steal somebody's Facebook like that's kind of a sad place to be in and I've actually felt bad for them but the point being is now they're running ads and they've been running ads for like at least probably a month but the problem is now I'm getting a little more concerned that they're going to uh, get me because people are commenting saying this is a scam or this is a lie or whatever the case is I'm concerned that they're gonna report the account and my my accounts are gonna get turned off that would be frustrating because I put a lot of work in these so the point being is I'm telling you all this so you can avoid these scams be be conscious of it and two if anybody you know anybody that works at Facebook or meta that would help be able to help me recover my account so that I can stop being impersonated essentially it would be a tremendous help. So hope you learned from this video. Hope, <laughs> hope it was helpful. And I'll see you in the next one. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are. If you have any advice, um, I tried that Facebook, the audio you know, captured, a hack not it's registered. Not super helpful. The customer service at Facebook is, is not that great. Um, but again, in, in the end of the world, light and scheme of life, it's not that big of a deal. So perspective, it's really genuinely not that big of a deal. But it would be a tremendous help if anybody has the help out there. So leave a comment down below. Peace.